Hello everyone, my name is Pradesir Laos, also known as Prod. In this video, I want to demonstrate an in-development feature of the node. This is the ability to exclude directories and the files included in those directories on a case-by-case -case basis while using org dynamic blocks. And I will show you how all this works by starting with an introduction to or reminder of how denote uh, org dynamic blocks work. So here I will create a new node starting with that and I will give it a name excluded directories uh, demo and uh, I will give it some uh, keywords uh, denote and uh, testing it's fine. So I have created my new node over here and what I want to do now is search for the block and we have four different types of dynamic blocks. What I want to do is create a dynamic block that inserts links to files that match the given regular expression here. And what I will search for is underscore test, which means match all names, all file names inside of the denote directory that include test or variants thereof, such as testing, in their file name as a keyword, hence the underscore prefix. This is part of the denote file naming scheme. So I will just search for that and the dynamic block will be populated with links to those files. Now, these are called dynamic blocks because if you update them again, they will recalculate their contents. So let me create a uh, new uh, node. So I will go up, oh, not this, sorry. I will go and uh, create a new node here. Let's call it new kid in town. And uh, this can have the testing and the node keywords as well. And I am just saving this. Let me go back to here and I will go ahead and evaluate this control C control X control U and we see that it has included the new kid in town and all the kids are having a good time now playing together so this is great this is what the dynamic blocks are about but what we want to do now here is take it a step further and benefit from the new uh, feature that I am developing. Let me go to the scratch buffer to show you what this feature looks like. And in the bottom window, I want to also include this directory. So here you will see that I have some uh, directories. So these are the files and there are subdirectories here and we see that they include some files. So we have this uh, user option, which is the denote excluded directories regexp. And this is a global preference. You give it a regular expression, which is a string uh, that can be an ordinary word, a string of characters or some more advanced regular expression. And if the directories include that in their name, they are excluded. And this means that the directories and their files are excluded. So as I said, this is a global preference and you can set it if you don't want, for example, when you are linking to another denote file to have uh, files uh, that match a given directory uh, to be among the other files you want to match. So now I have set it to a nil value here, okay? And if I go and test what kind of subdirectories I have in my denote test silo, if I do this, I see over here that it uh, prints one, two, up oh, one, sorry, one, two, three directories over here, okay? So we have three directories. Now, what I will do is I will go and set my global preference to a string of characters. Of course, as I said, it doesn't have to be some fancy regular expression. You don't need to be an expert. It can just be a string of characters. And for as long as these exist in the name of the directory, the directory is excluded. So now I have evaluated this and I will go back here and I will evaluate this. And now I see that indeed the directories which include 
EXCL in their name, so those two directories here, are excluded from the list of subdirectories. So that is great. Let's go back and set this to a nil value. And now let's go to our test. So let me go here to the file that I was creating. Here we had the dynamic block, which was excluding nothing. It was just using the default value. And in that case, the default value was nil. So let's go ahead and create the same dynamic block with the same uh, contents. So we see now it's exactly the same. But we have now this new parameter, and this is what is part of the new development, the excluded dears regex. And what this parameter does is the same as this user option I showed you earlier, but not on a global basis, but limited, localized to this block. It is specific to what I am doing in this uh, um, org dynamic block. So I will just set this to uh, EXCL, what I was doing earlier, and update the block again. And now I see that it has omitted the files which are in those excluded directories. So this is great because now I can keep those independent. I will evaluate this again. And you see here, I see all of them. But here, if I evaluate again, I see only some of them. So depending on my workflow, depending on what I am doing, I can see different things and I can have a better understanding of my knowledge base. So now what I want to do is see another use case of this where I have a global preference. So let me just uh, set the global uh, preference to EXCL, so this is my global preference. And uh, below, I will introduce another of those org dynamic blocks, same query. Now we see, because my global preference excludes some directories, here, even though the parameter for excluding directories is nil, because of the global value, this behaves the same way as the above which has an explicit uh, query to exclude. So these are identical. But now what I want is this one to not exclude. So even though the global preference is to exclude, I want a deviation from this rule, which is in this case, don't exclude anything. So I can do that by writing the value here as a symbol, and the symbol is an unquoted, so not double quotes, an unquoted word or the special T. T is a special in Emacs Lisp. It is a self-evaluating symbol that you don't need to quote. And we see ju that just by using T, we get more results uh, here. But let me go ahead and uh, change this to some other symbol because T may be obscure and you can say, no, thanks. It doesn't matter what you say. Anything you write there will be a symbol. It is a non-nil value and this has the same effect. And we see now that we have included more results and we can see that just by the eye test. So this is the idea, folks. This will work with all the dynamic blocks that Denote uh, provides. Uh, if you already have existing dynamic blocks, uh, you will need to write the Denote excluded, um, sorry, no, not Denote, the excluded Dears regex. So you will need to write this manually in your existing uh, org dynamic blocks. But if you are creating new ones with the new version that will come out, then you will get this automatically set to a nil value, and then you can update it accordingly. Again, this is an in-development feature. I am uh, actively maintaining the note. If you have any issues, please let me know. If you have any ideas, I'm happy to hear them. Uh, so uh, this is all uh, for now. I wish to thank uh, Claudio Migliorelli, who discussed this idea with me in uh, private, and then I took it from there and uh, developed it and uh, fleshed it out a bit uh, more. Uh, and I am sharing this information with uh, permission. 
So this is all for now, folks. I plan to release uh, the new version of the note, version 3.1, sometime in mid to late August 2024. So please stay tuned. That's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and goodbye.